the next one is was um, I made a, a, a choice, a kind of decision early on that if I was going to start writing lyrics, that I wouldn't write them like a first course, first course designer. <laughs> format. <laughs> Don't mean to you, I mean the format. <laughs> um, because I played guitar and acoustic so early on, um, I thought it would be challenging. Didn't try and never do that. Mm -hmm. Never, never write a verse, go into a chorus, have the octave step up at the end. And, um, it's proved to be quite challenging. It's, it's, it's proved to mm -hmm. keep interest. Uh, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. I read everything, they like a 4 4 beat, so it's just like a standard house beat. I start playing like a, um, I was playing like a roll, like a Fender Rhodes keyboard kind of sound. Don't own one or should have, but that's kind of, I'm basically trying to create a mood, and once I have the mood with the chorus, it's, the rest is just kind of falls on it. So. Do you find it comes quite naturally when you said that song you played earlier, it's true. Well, earlier this week, so that was the other part. Um, yeah, well, uh, like the likes of something like that, I was still on the album that would be worked on for roughly six weeks, you know, it was like three days um, before it would be the finished product. But um, I don't like so I wanted to do something quite raw. Mm -hmm. uh, if it ends up being part of a live show, I'm sure it will be a lot different, like I said. From that, uh, the festival and water. Gareth Stewart. Mm -hmm. He's like uh, he holds kind of dairy you know, as a dance team. He's from Keltronic. Keltronic, yeah. Deep fried folk. Um, he basically approached me. Mm -hmm. He says, uh, Do you want to do it live? Um, I remember I, I turned up and I was on the stairs in San Diego, so you can barely move as it is. And I just turned up with some old stuff and money cables going everywhere. And I started playing. And, it was quite nice actually, everybody showed up on a really nice bar. And I was like, whoa, what's this? We used to shake layers. Sorry? We used to have always had them. Yeah, yeah, you get nice and crowds, but it's kind of hard for But, um, no, I mean, from that, it was, it was, as I say, I was an instrumental artist from that, and from that gig, uh, BBC, Radio Foy, like your name, and DJ Steve McCauley was there to see it. And at the time, there wasn't really any electronic producers in the town, so. She came out and Steve would be on an electronic kind of yeah. lot. He just kind of latched me straight away and was like, whoa, what have you got to give it away? <laughs> so um, it, was quite a, it was quite a lucky break, really. Yeah. And, um, from there, it kind of snowballed in. Mm -hmm. Unlike a lot of rappers these days, they were all really good at playing aerial sport. Mm -hmm. um, if you watch our old dark memories about them, they were um, they're actually from like a rich Jewish family. Mm -hmm. So they're quite lucky okay. every single one. Three rich Jewish families. Three rich Jewish families. So um, yeah, but it was just nice to hear something they done with like the rap. They're, yeah. they're amazing rappers, but the tracks. Yeah. Quite 
good in the fact that they share the chase from Belfast by them up and you know likewise and you know it's it's, it's just good it's, it's a real healthy scene you know yeah. like a welcome scene so and having been away in Manchester and come back you, you feel happy to set up where you are um uh, definitely um especially Alma there are always like saying you know it's quite nice that we haven't had any environment and mm. like to make it as such. Mm. Although we haven't made it, but we're, we're getting on well for staying here, and yeah. it just shows you how how healthy the scene is that we can do that. Yeah.